What's going on, everybody? Hope all this softball world is doing well. Got ourselves another review for you guys, and we have the Dean Marini, Jason Magnum, not a lie, Vanilla Gorilla. Now, give yourself a second and listen to this bat real quick. Hear the, hear the sound. We just pulled the wrapper off here at the field. Now listen to the sound. I'll shut up for just a second. Hear that ting? I'll let you listen to one more. You don't want to hear my mouth. All right, there you go, guys. Just wanted you all to hear that sound, and by the end of the video, I'm going to let you hear the difference in the sound. But, hey, like I said, this is the Vanilla Gorilla. We all know what this is about. Um, I'm out here with uh, Garrett, Ben, and Josh in Wake Forest, North Carolina, at Flaherty Park. Um, it's a 300-foot fence all the way around from home plate, not from behind the fence. Uh, we're hitting a mix of some classic M's, pro M's, some evil icons, and of course your evil BP rockets. Um, guys, the weather wise, it started out in the 70s, the low 70s, and it got down in the 60s while we were hitting, and then it dropped like by the end of the night, right around 10 o'clock, it got down in the 50s, um, in the upper 50s, basically. Um, guys, <sighs> Let's go over to bat real quick. So you know these come in sizes from 24 ounces all the way up to 28. It's got a 12-inch barrel. Um, it's an inloaded bat. They don't really tell you the inload, but I believe it's supposed to be kind of like a, I don't, maybe not a half. It's more than a half, maybe like a three-quarter ounce inload, but it doesn't tell you on the website. Um, it has the same stiff ZNX alloy handle as they always carry, and it's got the con continuous fiber composite, which is their not a lot technology. Um, it's a 240 stamp. 240 stamp bat that's a two-piece bat of course and it's u triple and nsa certified um the one we're swinging here in the video guys is a like 26 ounce and we scaled this in at 25 ounces the end load came in at 16 even and the handle weight at 85 um we also tested this bat brand new in the wrapper at 322 so what it tested at the 322 that high that's typical for d marini that's usually how they come um these are getting ready to go on sale on the uh the 26th uh which is this wednesday um which is october the 26th these will go on sale and you can get these at like headbanger sports or you can head you go over to d marini website and get them or any other your d marini things but i'll talk about that at the end of your video um we pulled the wrapper off at the field guys and like I said, we're hitting a mix of balls, and it is a short barrel bat. And I'm not the biggest fan of short barrel bats. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. But the barrel started out stiff. It was really loud, like tingy sounding. Um, and it was, at first, it was hard to find a sweet spot. And I was not liking it. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you because I just did not care for it a whole lot. But the night goes on and then we kept putting swings on it kept putting swings on it kept putting swings on it and then the sound changed and man did it change um i've hit every vanilla gorilla out so far and by i just telling you they're all pretty good i thought this year's the vanilla version of this year's the 2023 was the best one that came out yet um this one, I thought for some reason, I thought the, this one ran a touch light, but I compared it to the um, 2023 Vanilla and it's dead on. Exact same specs on the end load and everything, so it's, it's dead on. But I thought that was the best one I swung, but boy, was I proven wrong. And I don't know if you guys are uh, very familiar with a lot of the DeMarini technology, but this technology didn't remind me of the um, Not A Lot Tech. It reminded me of the APC technology. I think they call it like Advanced uh composite or something i can't remember what the, what they call it but they, they put it in like their lady cartels or the davis baradello bats they were like um mid loads and they in the what it is they test really high but the compression breaks down really fast and and they get hot fast and this is what this reminded me of that but it could be the fact that we're hitting in colder weather and it, it just broke down faster doing that. And um, and I've got people like Ben, Garrett, and Josh out there who mashed the ball to help break it down really good, too. Um, but with a smaller sweet spot, the, the barrel is going to um, break in faster. So we got close to just under 300 swings on that bat that night. And it dropped down to 247. And I'm going to tell you guys, for me, I've swung a lot of DeMarinis. I've never seen one drop this fast, and I do believe the temperature had a little bit to do with it because the balls are getting a little harder when it's cooler. But we had an absolute blast in this ball. So I was just like, hey, man, the next day, um, 
I went outside. I went out there to the bot to the um, another field with Dakota and got Dakota to pitch to me. And I was like, "Hey, let's let's put some swings on this during the daytime when it's warmer. The balls are not so hard, and let's just say I you know overhyping this bat. When hit it again, and I was like, "Okay, I'm definitely not overhyping this bat. This bat feels good. Um, I'm really digging it." So then we went back out there against Sunday, and I pulled out the other vanilla, the 2023 vanilla gorilla, and compared it to that bat. And they tested about the same. They were right there. Like one was like 245, the other was like 250. And no, actually, the the 2023 tested lower. This one was outperforming the the, the vanilla one. And I like the vanilla one. That was probably my favorite one yet. But man, this one outperformed it. Um, the sound completely changed. You didn't hear the ting. Um, it had this just loud cracking sound. Um, it just got crazy. I'm going to shut up for just a second and let you hear Josh hit this one oh, next one if, if he's hitting here. Well, this is being so let's, let's think, hold uh, off on that. But, ahead. man, this bat was absolute yeah, blast, guys. Money. Now, these are going on sale um, on the 26th of we this Wednesday of October, and you can get these through Headbanger Sports. I'm a Headbanger Sports rep, guys. Okay. So if you want to get one, hit me up. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, or you can hit me up on YouTube, message me, and we'll figure out some way to – get you a bat but um and i do not know the price yet of these yet guys so i won't know until they these go on sale so in, until i find out but um but hey these will go quick guys so if you want one you definitely better um you better get ready to get one so like i said i believe they're a lot of times what they'll do is they'll do it like late tuesday night at 12 1 a.m or they'll just they'll, they'll wait till the next day if they come in um but man right here i will say this though garrett's hitting right here Garrett left earlier that night, so the way I edit this, this is Garrett's first swing, so it doesn't show any of his um, later swings and stuff. But you'll see what I'm saying, because it still sounds tingy when he's hitting. But um, I'll show you. Hold on one second. Let's see after Garrett's next swing who hits. I can't remember. All right, listen to the sound. I'm going to hear one more swing, guys. Yeah, man, it's just that cracking sound. And this sounds better when you're listening to it on your cell phone. For some reason, it doesn't sound as good. The sound is not as great on the um, on the computer for some times or your laptop. But, guys, get with me and and just let me know if you want to get one. Um, these The compression, like I said, dropped down to 247. So, But it kind of seemed like it was holding because I hit it against Saturday. I hit it against Sunday. And the compression kind of held right there. So we're, we're good to go on compression. But man, this thing They've is fun so to hit, guys. Now, um, I like I said, if you're a Demarini lover and you like short barrels with that stiff alloy handle, man, and you with the stiff alloy handle, guys, that's the one thing you can do. You don't have to hold back on your swing. You can swing out of your shoes, and you don't have to worry about all that flex. But uh, I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And what are you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. But that's it, guys. We'll talk to you later, and thanks for listening. <laughs> Keep it back, let's go. Uh, you got it. You got it. Are you trying to hit him out? Really I'm just swinging hard right now. Try to get a line drive up. There you go. Ooh. There you go. Shit. Boy. Could do that. Shit. I've heard all week. Oh, my God. There it is. Wow. That was knuckling there, sir. That was. Oh! Ah! Dude. Yeah. You, can, you do that right there? That's perfect. That was fair, right? Okay. Yeah. That problem is right there. That ball's going too good. Yeah. Nice. Come on, fans. Well, yeah, it did.